five of the outer worlds uh we're basically trying to finish off the weapons from the void and don't bite the sun which is basically one of the companion quests uh it's been pretty interesting really good gameplay uh, as soon as you start getting a little bit of more power a little bit more armor and stuff like that then you start really enjoying the game guys don't forget to hit a like subscribe don't forget to hit the bell for notification please don't forget to share like everything you can and remember consider that join button all right guys let's get straight into it <clears throat> All right, a couple of seconds here. Hold on, guys. We are meeting up with uh, what's the face? Parvati and Ellie. I don't know which is hotter, Parvati or Ellie. They both look similar with with these garb, but they're I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Ollie, please don't sit on the keyboard. conserve your ammo move it around I mean these this is a shotgun here but um, yeah if you don't kill you don't get so it's like yeah it kind of kind of forces you to do both at the same time so Guys, I'm sorry for the delay. Straight into it. Uh, this is a heck no. Okay. We picked up everything from the last time. Oh, Rizzo's. Okay, so now we're going to hit I. <sighs> the general runner for the thing. Acquire the science weapon and the abandoned lab. We're going to go with that. Where is that at, though? Where is that at? Now, I have no idea that's right because I was here. And I'm like, how the heck do you get in here? There's an abandoned lab weapon. I see no way of getting in here. missing guys what am I missing usually when it's locked out like that is you know you hit a uh, like a terminal and it opens it up so you think that's what it is everything else is hit and used so Might be it. Hold on. That's it. I bet you that's it. Nope. Come on, that's the only thing I did different. Do I have the uppercase lock on? 
No. Okay, password required for the password not recognized. Am I hitting anything? Nope. In order to reset your password, you must enter your password. <laughs> Please enter password. Think. Come on now. I mean, what the heck is it? I mean, it's there. It's got to be that terminal thing, but I mean, you can't physically hit a number like uh, what do I call it, like in Dying Light. you think? a good one. So it's not. Something on your mind? You might all like a casserole, Ooh. right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. They're cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Yeah? I mean, what do you need? Captain? Ma'am? Lady? So none of these got it. That's sealed. So I wonder if what is the weapons of the board? Ella Hagen. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm gonna go what? Right across here. Just to see.
is need one to open that one. Two. The access code. Okay, so that's unlocked. Is that new? I don't know. Okay, that just opens up that crap that we couldn't open before. I wonder if it opens this up by what I just did. I doubt it. Nope. Not the thing I needed. <clears throat> they got the job on So that's open over there, but sealed over here. That is so insane. Is that it, you think? Maybe? No? No, maybe? sealed okay that's definitely new if I'm not mistaken feels like I've been here but no I haven't because none of the stuff respawns none of that stuff respawns so So we started. So after a while, it does restock. Because remember, it was daytime when I first did it, and I got pwned. I got broke. For one little thing. Whatever, dude.
that stays open. <coughs> that would be awesome. I don't have to worry about nothing. That goes all the way down to the bottom, I think. The flip is down there. Heck no. <sighs> Bottling plants, so now I'm gonna go across. I'll have to see. I know I, should, I picked up a bunch of freaking crap. I should be able to have one of them up. Wow. I don't need that. Well, that's my level, isn't it? <sighs> that's my level, dude. That is my level. Okay. We're switching to Don't Bite the Sun. Find provided from fancy clothes. Uh, Fleur, SLS, Giver, Haberdashi, and Byzantium. Where is Byzantium? Absolutely nothing. stuck here. So let's go to the main quest. Free Radio Free Monarch. Free information broker the Devil's Peak. I should be the simplest guy but oh my god. Why should be the simplest crap? Oh, <clears throat> come here, Ollie.
that you have to get up there, but you know, they draw you in here like something's up in here. Nope. You gotta have a code to get in here. It requires that access. Crap. You cannot get back here. Facing that, how in the world abandoned safe house? Appear dummy. Sometimes I don't I literally overthink it. Overthink it all the time. That so looked like a cave. Thank you. 
the flip is Parvati. Jesus Christ, she's there. That's funny how they just knock out. See my peeps. That's my peeps. Nice work. You should check in with my crew. Maybe they can help you. Go back and follow the trail running underneath. You got a real talent for murder, stranger. Color me impressed. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. You mean the one still inside? Wish I could, but we play it by the book. You want help? Bertolt's the one to ask. Oh, baby boy. Let me see this crap here.
tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. <laughs> what in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? Nice and coherent. Good. Take it you're not with the Marauders, then. By the hand of faith and my own cunning skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Excellent. I have a good feeling about our business relationship. I'm sure it will go much more smoothly than with those unscrupulous mercenaries I hired. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently.
think I robbed you blind. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having so you in blind blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why you ventured here at all. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh, if you insist. As I was telling you before, I am the premier broker for all of Monarch. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Are you fibbing? Be honest. Careful, I know that line. I use it all the time. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You'll find it directly to the east, almost in sighting distance of Devil's Peak Station. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an ex exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. There are so many members. Do specify. If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? I understand. What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. <laughs> MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. Mm. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. They are a curious lot. Yeah, they're getting some good information here. And short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. Hmm. 
You mean between MSI, the Iconoclast, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra-1 and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. Precisely, the other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra-1 uninhabitable. Okay. But MSI had so lagged behind, to Terra two? giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left, take over the planet. Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched. Well, it's good to know all the information that way. I would assume <clears throat> it stems down. from the friends and family I could try that to lost him better than all more. those years ago. Makes sense. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Not much, admittedly. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. And you're only 35 years old or first, so, so. Who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. Nice. I do know this much. Mm -hmm. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you expect. If allegations are to be believed, Easy. the experiments he Easy. conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous. Easy. Ollie, hold on. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source. You have you. But I am also not unconvinced yeah. either. Come on, come on, my little one. Me your shadow, Mitty. Come on. Oh goodness, you guys are getting heavy. All five pounds of you. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it okay. for the right price. How low you seemingly regard my trade. I may have a secret for you, for the right exchange. There are so many members. Do specify. Yes, Luckily for you, okay. I am a veritable font of information. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. No, I'm recording. And short oh, sighted too. What else do you wish to know? Okay, so Luckily for you, I am a veritable so he font he of a, information. He has something on somebody. Not much, admittedly. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font Okay, okay, of there should be a, a... What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept backward? messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain That's one, right. that might be worth it for the right price. See? How low you seemingly regard my trade. I got no other... Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. 10 4, will do.
that was not really. Huh. And you cannot. You cannot pass for. Just like Jupiter. I'd like to have my own little robot falling. Oh, I do have a robot cat, don't I? viable place to go save just in case I jump to my death yep. it's the death so whatever you do don't jump yeah I love that part about saving because you literally test out those stupid stupid movements stupid thoughts you get, you know, so I don't just jump. Lair.
Where did your flesh go? Skill, I mean, perks first. Yeah, I have some better dialogue. Okay, and 10 more points. It's the attack. Is it here? Lockpick, no? been here? It's fob root. Okay, let me see this journal because this is a little bit confusing. So I'm saying, that's what I was confused. What, what was I doing? The front engineers? I was doing the main quest, Derg. We might as well see what's up with this. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse? Oh, and then time said out. You wasn't Bring fixing it down it fast level, enough, so He's docking your wages again? Mm -mm. Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not oh. at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on acid. Mm -mm. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth. 
or a mantis worm wings. A collector or something? Or a drug stopped, addict? Really. So I can talk to him, of course. Oh. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. No He's crap. sort of the strong, squish. silent type. She's Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Mm -hmm. That happened to Jeffrey Dahmer. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Hot? Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Uh -uh. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. No stinging problem. Why does it go back to her? Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Oh, have you talked to him? No. Not yet. Cool your jets. All right, so the quest is the Grim tomorrow. We're gonna go to that. I could see. I'm saying you gotta double click the crap, bro. And then I'll be grim tomorrow. Oh, so Bastion's right here. Thank God. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Uh -uh -uh. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Uh oh. Seems a little bit like long gun, sort of shotgun. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Okay. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? Uh-oh. That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta queens, especially. Sure, they're real big. Hard to miss them. 
Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what, I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? All right then, leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that a -ways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there too. Yeah, you find him yet? I sent him past the ruins just south of town. Oh my God, he was hunting for a mana queen out there. Huh, I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that wrapped it on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, ah. no, that's not it at all. <laughs> not at all, buddy. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smote? Oh, smoot. Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks... Nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. Nobody wants a on discount, of boy. No one else having any use for raptodon tongues. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. That's it, how you Carry got? on. Huh? Okay, here we go, one down. What in the world is hooked up now? Radio Free Mars, no. By his grandson, da 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 Mr. Pickett's biggest game task. Fast travel is amazing, dude. Just like that, huh? 
Or that he's dead, man. He's dead. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? Funny place to leave a journal. Oh but what my about God, Mr. Dude, are you that dense? That's pretty sad. He sure seemed like he knew what he was doing. He used to tell the kids crazy stories about Kelsey and wildlife. Later I learned most of it was wrong, but it was the thought that counted. Then one day he just disappeared. Never heard anything about him again. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long though. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. It'd be nice for there to be some good come out of this. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. Hmm? Like what? Alright, nothing else. Ugh. Where are you free thing? No, we're going to go to the ground tomorrow. Speak to the in the warehouse. If you want to talk to the boss, she's in the back of the warehouse. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Mm -mm. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Pescatological? What? <laughs> Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I can't keep working double shifts either. Got you. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Mm -hmm. Something else on your mind? Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay. hard workers they turn dials and flip switches the machines do all the actual work mm. i'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent neither caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here i'll tell you that much i don't have the bits for it plain and simple besides if i make an exception for him i gotta do the same for everyone if caleb wants to keep this job he'd better get back to it I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. 
He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's gotta keep the lights on. Fine by me. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. I don't have time for Grimm, even when I'm not working doubles. It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Fine by me. Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterobiotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the yeah, Spacer's Choice stealing, stuff though. we use is cheap enough. And Braxton oh, knows how to get this on tuna, <clears throat> fat, and mostly tumor-free. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Sure. And once you finish helping me, <sighs> Velma, Velma. then we can talk about the poster. Fine by me. Alright, so it is the groom tomorrow. Get rooms, toss all posters. Did Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. She needs to No, I mean, Sorry. more than usual. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Aren't they just? When I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. So, what can I do for you? Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the toss ball games get to us in fragments. Makes him real hard to watch. Signed by the black hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine toss ball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. Of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official toss ball jerseys. I was gonna line the walls with them. They're the new ones now with authentic game time aroma. Mm -mm. The game time aroma, yikes, so stank from the sweat. Of course not. Oh. No, authentic means close enough to be the real thing, but not actually the real thing. Everyone knows that. Oh, anyway, sure. I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Aerodynamics <clears throat> and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, 
I might let Grimm have that poster. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. What can I do for you? Does it still hook that to that? No, nah, nah. the groom tomorrow. That's her. Almost towards. Well, if it isn't my friendly wilderness savior, care to purchase a thing or two? Ah, the iconoclasts have folk around the wilderness. Occasionally, some of them come to me for aid, providing they can't make it back to Amber Heights. Well, I try to keep my head down, but I have heard that grandfella rambling on a few too many times. Might say he's obsessed. Were I the type to say a thing like that. Welcome back. Care to purchase a thing or two? Glad you helped me. That were amazing. Heading back. Okay. 
Okay. Sure. I'm going. Be right there. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the salt piece. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Really? Wait, let me just take a sniff. Uh -oh. oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh my god. Just let it waft right into your nostrils. Okay. That's the smell of pure, unfiltered sportsmanship, baby. Right. Tell Velma that Grim can keep his poster. I've got all I need right here. give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess and Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry ma'am, I wasn't trying to be rude, it's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right and... Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, huh. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Nope. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. 
And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Hmm, thirteen thousand. I'd show you around, but I gotta keep watch, just in case someone else comes along. Okay, so grown tomorrow is complete. Take a hint. Hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No <coughs> corporations, no shackles, no problems. Hmm. Mm. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as oh, they come. Oh, so you're on drugs, so you don't. You're see welcome these to stay with us like a, so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, you've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around Graham. this dark, dark planet. Like Billy Graham? Oh, hey! You can think of those two no. as our leaders, but the <laughs> Example. <laughs> we all ought to be more Too close, like them. guys. Too close. Why, he's our founder. Huh. Graham taught us about philosophism. philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. Wow. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. Sawbones? She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Hmm. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. <clears throat> oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He so calls it a spiritual a metaphor, nice. something about rising from the ashes. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Seems like a nice little town, except for all the
Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? <clears throat> I am not a little boy. Haven't Arsenal. been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. <laughs> I take it she's still looking for me? Mm -hmm. I'd hope she'd accept she my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Show up with a bottle of vodka and some real good cusses. That'll show her how much you've grown. <laughs> then she'll think they've brainwashed me into some kind of hooligan. As far as she's concerned, if I make any decision that's not aligned with hers, someone else convinced me. One of those, she doesn't huh? want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. You do you, boo. So your family matter. So we go to family matter. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. <clears throat> if you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're Definitely looking for like a teacher, Billy Graham. I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Oh, yes. 
gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. Hmm. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Ah, the eternal. Trying to talk we about are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. Sanjar Nandi, he leads MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. Okay. In that I'm sense, I suppose you could say <clears throat> that. In the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Questions like these are distractions. Huh? It doesn't matter whether an entity sparked the universe or not. Only by pursuing the eternal truth will we find these and other answers. All right. I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. All people are part of the philosophist family. I've come to accept that, along with the additional weight of their deaths. Why have you come? All right. Why have you come? Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? Uh, excuse me. I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Uh -uh. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. Oh, here we go. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower.
might actually have better reach. People read that stuff all over the system, even in Byzantium. Yeah, where is See, Byzantium? See, citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Hi, 
Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Mm. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew! I have to lie to him because he's a freaking... He's evil, so I have to... <clears throat> I have to lie to him. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. And four. Some places is like mine, my stuff, all my stuff. And some is really.
ugly helmet, man, but it was definitely more. Uh, that was much stronger. Oop. They disappeared. What? So I'm telling you the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. You needn't concern yourself with trifling logistics. Trifling logistics? They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there, and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They weren't willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. You're lucky they don't have airlocks on Monarch, or someone would have helped you into one by now. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. This is worth bickering over. The Iconoclasts can't keep their heads in the ground forever, or they're going to starve and die slow. Look, just... if the Van Noys are still alive... Get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Journal. Pay, for, pay for the print.
Probably doesn't tell you anything. Oh, I keep looking at where I was. What was that? What was that? Talk to me. Hope you're here to help. We only got so many bullets left, and I ain't keen on using one on you. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out, and Jensen can't see straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. My professional medical advice is to get out of here as soon as possible. Bleeding might kill him, but rats definitely will. How many years of medical school went into that word of wisdom? Three. Sorry. Sorry. We appreciate the assist. We just need to find our medic so we can do exactly as Always you something. Say. Always get something more. Get the hell out. Yeah. On account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Down there, what are you doing? Yeah, bro. I mean, anything he should have closed the flipping door. No game likes to close the door behind you. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> 